Hey YouTube, you guys wanna see what a 16 core dual RTX 4090 workstation workhorse looks like? You're not gonna to wanna to miss a video then. Joe Mundy here with AVA Direct Custom Computers, your one-stop shop for complete customization and choice of well over 20,000 different component options. Today on AVA Rigs, we're gonna discuss a 16 core dual RTX 4090 workstation designed specifically for rendering. In today's day and age when you don't always have your work cut out for you and you got a lot of work to do with 3D animation and rendering and just designing the overall aspect of a project, the last thing you wanna do is have to wait, I don't know, eight hours, 12 hours, 24 hours, really long time for that final render. And for a majority of people that I've discussed these kinds of workstations with, that always tends to be the one thing that they don't look forward to. So ask yourself, what that would do for your productivity if that rendering time was cut down by 50%, maybe even 75%. Let us know in the comments what that would do for your workflow. Under the specifications, which I've already stated, it's a 16 core dual RTX 4090 workstation, but what else is under the hood? Let's find out using my handy dandy cheat sheet. So the name of the configurator that was used to build this system is our AMD Ryzen 7000 series processors X670 chipset, Tower Workstation PC, SEO optimized. <laughs> and it was built by one of our salesmen here, Kyle Miser. Great job, Kyle. On to core specifications. We have the Leon Lee 011D XLX. This thing can hold practically anything you wanna put in it. I mean, check out the fact that we have three components that are all using closed loop coolers and all of them fit easily. There was no difficulty in getting these mounted whatsoever other than maybe the wire management, which we'll, we'll talk about later. Got a Ryzen 7950X 16 core processor. It's got an MSI X670E carbon Wi Fi motherboard, 128 gigabytes of Kingston DDR5 6000 megahertz. Pretty impossible to get stable at 6000 megahertz sometimes at 128 gigs, but we pulled it off. Dual MSI Supreme X RTX 4090 graphics cards. In a day and age when it's difficult enough to get a graphics card, the fact that we were able to manage to get two of these and put them in a single system, much enjoy. Such fantastic. Really jealous of the guy that bought this workstation, by the way, but hey, being around the hardware sometimes is just as good as actually owning the hardware in some cases. 1600 watt EVGA titanium rated T2 power supply. Essential, absolutely essential for builds like this where you have cards that can pull 600 watts in some scenarios, right? And then you got a CPU that TDP of, they say 120 watts, give or take, but that can easily increase with turbo boost. So really smart decision. For those of you that may not know, I'll explain briefly why it's important to have three hard drives in a setup such as this. You have your operating system drive, you have your scratch disk, you have your raw data drive. Operating system drive is designed to hold your operating system applications and applications in general. So that's where you would install maybe Adobe Premiere or even Redshift or Cinema 4D. Your secondary drive, which is the scratch disk drive, is where you're going to actually run any files that you're working on within Redshift or within Octane or Cinema 4D because you're gonna get the benefit of the read and write performance of that drive, but you're also gonna chew through its endurance really quick because oftentimes it takes gigabytes upon gigabytes of data processing in order for you to edit things. And a lot of times it's a rinse and repeat editing. So that's why they call it a scratch disk. It's intended to be burnt to the ground and replaced later on without you losing anything on your operating system disk or anything on your raw data disk that's held separately. It's a strategic way of intentionally setting up your system so you can continue to do the work you need to do, expect the fact that failures are gonna happen because of what you're putting the hardware through, right? And then you'll still be out on top. You know, that's a lot of what we do here in the sales department as well as it's not just about building systems and making sure people get into the right hardware, it's setting expectations. So if somebody were to come to me and they'd wanna buy a workstation and they send me a quote that they've worked on and it's got one drive, one of the first questions I'm gonna ask them is, why only one drive? Because I may not know that they already know about the three drive setup or even the two drive setup if you're a minimalist and they have USB hard drives that they've carried over from PC to PC for years and they intend on doing what they need to do with it. So always, I always try to ask questions if I see anything that kind of looks out of spec based on our recommendation. Okay, so now that you guys know the specifications of the build, let's talk about the features that we like most about the build. Well, I already said that I like the fact that the build is blackout. It's incredibly clean, it's easy to keep clean, 
And I mean, you can pretty much put this thing anywhere and it's gonna fit right in. Even if you have like an all white themed desk area, black is a really nice contrast to that all white. So it makes it super simple to integrate to your desk setups at home. Another feature I really enjoy about the build is the fact that it was used in such a substantially large case that we could fit all of the closed loop radiators in the inside of it. So as you can see, one of the RTX 4090 radiators is mounted at the bottom. Second RTX 4090 radiator is mounted on the side and the CPU liquid cooler is mounted up top. Doesn't even really look like we struggled to make them fit either. It looks like it was a pretty painless process. There was plenty of room to work in. And depending on the order in which you would have installed those things, it could have been kind of difficult. Like I, I would have started with the bottom card and mounted the bottom radiator and worked with the top card, installed the side radiator. And then, I mean, the CPU liquid cooler could have been installed at any point in time and it would have just kind of stayed out of the way. But that's beautiful that you have companies like Lee and Lee that make these kinds of cases where they've thought out those kinds of design considerations. You know, it's fantastic. Another great feature is the board. The MSI series boards, especially in this classification of X670 boards, they have a little bit of everything you need for everybody. You know, tons of USB ports. It's got built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which that tends to be more of a common thing that people want out of their boards, whether they're gonna use it or not, doesn't matter, but to have that capability is important. I mean, overall, this system is incredibly well balanced. You have a 16 core processor and two RTX 4090s running off of PCI Express 5.0, might I add. Granted, they're not getting full bandwidth, but once they started to exceed PCI Express 4.0 specification in design, the diminished returns going from 16X to 8X, it's kind of a wash, especially professionally. Like two cards is gonna be better than one anyway, so kind of quabbling over the fact that you're not getting full bandwidth, irrelevant. Because you would have had to have considered a uh, Threadripper Pro platform to get full bandwidth, but now you're taking a system that could have been $7,000 or $8,000 and turning it into a $12,000 system like that. So this is a very economical way for a professional to get the results they need without having to completely burn their wallet. Cables have made huge advancements in the way that we're able to cable manage systems based on how you specify and build. But when you start throwing three closed loop liquid cooled components into a system, that's gonna get kind of dicey. Granted, I think the tech that built this, David, you've seen him on our AVA rigs videos, did a great job at doing what he could with keeping things nice and clean. And it looks like all of the cable destinations from the source were intentional. And that's what you wanna look for for cable management. And that's what makes a huge difference with AVA Direct and our cable management. It, things aren't just slapped together and zip tied to make to look tight and create open spaces to imply that, ah, cable management for everyone. Everything you see as far as cable management design is intentional. And if you look at it and the design looks intentional based on cable management, then you know somebody's done a good job. Really easy way to see if, if somebody cares about cable management or not. Services that were completed on this build are burn-in quality control and premium wire management. We offer a whole bunch of other services too, but you tend to kind of see those in custom one-off builds or in uh, business to business builds where we might do blind branding, for example, where we'll put a company's logo all over the system and on the box and on the invoice, and they send it to their customers and their customers are none the wiser that they were actually built by yours truly. So keep that in mind. So let's discuss the use case scenario of this system next. Uh, discussing with Mr. Kyle Miser and his client and what the system was intended to use this system for, it is none other than Redshift. Makes complete sense as to why they have two graphics cards. Redshift if some of you aren't aware of what that application does, it's a fashion of rendering, leveraging GPU horsepower, and you can support up to eight GPUs on it. Sometimes not even in the same system too, depending on if you have like a render manager that you're gonna use it with. But a lot of people prefer to use it locally in a single system, it's way easier to manage, uh, less hassle as far as space usage, because if you start building a render farm with eight GPUs, and you got a closet and you got systems stacked top to bottom, get kind of toasty in there. So this is a good starting point and this is an incredible system to use with Redshift. Shout out to the tech who built it, none other than our own in-house Davy Jones or David Jones. You've seen him on AVA rigs, he builds systems too in case you didn't know that or if he hasn't talked about it. He's an incredible guy, he loves long walks on the beach, enjoys Magic the Gathering and uh, he's pretty astute. So good job David, can't say enough good things about you and your capabilities as a tech here. For those of you that might be interested in buying this system for yourself or even using it as a starting point, we're gonna put the SKU in the description below for you to use at your leisure. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by and watching our AVA Rigs video on the RTX 4090 Dual Beast Workstation with 16 cores. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, 
Leave us a comment about the one thing that you would change about this build if it were yours, or maybe you'll leave it exactly the same. I, for one, would not touch a thing. Until next time, you take care. If you like the PC in this video, be sure to contact our sales team at sales at avadirect.com, or you can head over to our website by clicking on the link in the description below. You can choose from many pre-built options, gaming or workstation based, or use our configurator to build a PC of your dreams. Be sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe, and don't forget to follow our social media channels at avadirect.com.